Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Das Lab. Uh, today it's a little bit of a computer troubleshooting project. I've already started troubleshooting it. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to get. Uh, things don't look good. Uh, here's what's happening. Uh, long beeps. Long beeps, long beeps. Uh, difficult to find out exactly what kind of... Uh, it doesn't power up or do anything like that. Difficult to find out what kind of bias it has in there. Uh, it does respond to a long shutdown. Okay, long press hold. Um, we'll open it up, take a look, and uh, and we'll try to troubleshoot what's going on. I think, well, we'll see when, what I think when we get in there. Okay, so we've tried a bunch of different things. Um, he's kind of got this ripped apart a bit. We still got one hard drive in there. We've tried powering it up. Uh, so what 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 it looks like? It it kind of says that it's a memory issue. Um, and he's got one of the RAMs ripped out of here. Um, but the, also, it should be a long, continuous beep, not a whole series of long beeps, is a, a memory issue. In any event, we've tried um, uh, moving the RAM around. We tried different RAM. We tried this RAM in another computer. It's DDR3 RAM, and uh, it works just fine. So it, I don't think it's a memory issue. Uh, all indications are it looks like it's a hard um, fault on the motherboard or a CPU fault, something like that. Uh, we've tried disconnecting the SATA drives. We've tried disconnecting different things. It's always the same sort of uh, tone whenever we boot it up. And um, it's a gigabyte GA78LMT. Uh, motherboard is probably seven eight years old and it's got uh, dual BIOS on it. I don't know what kind of BIOS it is, but um, Bottom line is it's still doing the same old thing Every time I'm thinking uh, It shows like a hardware fault. He's got this great big huge uh, video card in here. We've tried ripping that out using onboard video um, That doesn't seem to be it either so uh, every time we do get in here, I unplug it. I have tried going in and uh, replacing the battery and doing a, a reset. There's a couple pins here you can short out to do a reset on the whole system. Uh, put a short across there for five seconds, new battery, all that stuff. None of that sort of panned out. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take this uh, video card out again because it's kind of in the way. And uh, this whole computer had a problem before, too, where it had um, it had uh, it was full of dirt. So what I'm going to try doing is uh, figuring out how to re um, position that CPU, the heatsink, like this, this, this looseness here. I'm not liking that. And I know this was cycled several uh, dozen times. I heard up to 50 times. So it could be a thermal stressing problem. So let me figure out how I'm going to get that CPU fan out of there. And then we'll uh, come back and join in once I know what's going on. Okay, so I, I unplugged the fan. And uh, there was a clip here for the CPU and the heat sink. And uh, we're going to take the heat sink off. And wow. Minimal heat conductive compound on there. There's a little trace, which you don't want too much. You don't want to have a huge amount. Okay, so these uh, little connectors here for the heat sink, if they're going to come out, I want them to come out where I choose. Of course, there's always one, right? Okay, fine, you can stay in there. So, yeah, not a lot of heat sink compound on there, and I have some more. Of the gray stuff and there's the CPU and I see a lot of dirt in there so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get some alcohol and I'm gonna clean that out and that could be for all I know that could be part of our problem so let me get some supplies and I'll be right back okay so I'm just gonna start cleaning up around the CPU a little bit of alcohol um, for unfortunately I don't have any wind with me uh, but just gently 
mopping up. I'm using a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Nice little cleaner. Because before I go and lifting up the CPU to reseed it, I just want to make sure that I get as much dirt out of here as I can. Uh, you got to be careful if you're using compressed air because uh, the air going across the um, surface can cause static and uh, you can uh, actually do a lot of damage with compressed air. Uh, so you got to be careful. You got to be really careful, especially in dry conditions like in winter. It's not dry, it's raining out here right now. So, all right, and I'm just going to. Start cleaning up the surface of that that really had minimal minimal um, heat sink compound on it which is okay I mean this is done pretty good for the last several years but uh, there should be a, a little bit in there Everything else in here looks clean. Um, vacuuming too. People uh, that vacuum out their computers, uh, the, the first of all, the heavy duty nozzle can knock off, um, you can see what I'm doing now, can knock off uh, surface metal components, but also you get static as the air is drawn up inside the computer too. Uh, sorry, inside the vacuum. Okay, let's open up this CPU. So I think I'm gonna just uh, do one of those and pull it out. Now, doesn't look too bad, and I'm reluctant to get in there and start scrubbing. Uh, so I'm just going to um, let a sleeping dog lie, but I will go around the surface here. Um, I think I'll use a Q-tip again. Just to get a little bit closer. And again, I don't want to drive anything down into those holes. I'm sure this goes in a certain way. Yeah, you can see there's a little triangular tip there and there's a triangular tip over there on that side and this should basically fit in one way and I'm just going to exercise it a couple times. That's going to maybe brighten up those uh, contacts. Let me just get in there a little bit more and uh, up some of that schmoo. Okay. So that's there. And our heat sink is here. So let's give that a clean. Yeah, so there, there's probably enough on there to do the job. You don't want um, you don't want to. Uh, it's not like like a coating. The the best possible heat conduction is between this metal and that metal. But of course, the surfaces aren't perfect, and heat transfer. One of the coefficients of, uh, or the factors is surface area. So the heat sink compound is basically supposed to take out and fill in along all the ridges and make a larger surface area for contact between the two surfaces that you're trying to cool between or heat thermally equalize. And uh, that's all the heat sink compound is supposed to do is just fill in the gaps. So you don't need a big glob there. It's not like a silicone or something like that. And I know I got to put the pieces of plastic back on, but I'm just doing a test fit. So there is a bit of wiggle room there. And yeah, it does seem to have good contact surface area. So my heat sink compound is this stuff over here and I got this uh, 
five pack and it came with a little fortune cookie thermal grease uh, primary use thermal coupling of uh, electrical and electronic devices special properties high conductivity low bleed stable at high temperatures which is good so one of the things I found with this stuff is sometimes it uh, settles out and you might get a bit of uh, the binding agent or whatever at the front so I always give it a little bit of a purge and see the very first thing that came out was clear so now I know I'm rid of the good stuff and I'm gonna give me a little dab it doesn't really take much more than that does it not take much more than that and you want it even you don't want it to bleed over the edges like if you're gluing two pieces of wood together and you have the white glue bleeding all over the place wouldn't be good I'm gonna call that good I'm gonna put my pieces of plastic back in here How do these go? There's one right in that ting there. I think that that looks right. And one more. there and this is like a spring-loaded bear trap type of dealy and it clips on one side those go in the slot Yeah, there we go. And it goes there. And you pop that down there. Doesn't hurt to give it a little bit of a wiggle. And because that fan's going to want to start up, we should make sure that it's going to be reseated properly. So I'll screw the fan on and I'll come back. Okay, so the fan's back on. We're going to plug it in. Cross our fingers, um, it's got the RAM in the right spots. You can tell that it's got a little label here, one, two, three, and four, so you gotta load them up in the right spot. Uh, we got an A hard drive plugged in, the video card's out, but uh, none of that should affect it. We'll see what the post test looks like. Powering up. And no effect. Okay, so next I'm going to rip the motherboard out and see if there's something underneath that uh, may be affecting it. There, I can see the motherboard through here. There's very little I can actually see through here. So, next, the motherboard. Uh, what I'm going to do first is uh, take a picture of this and uh, just to make sure that I get back all the um, um, cables and wires in the right spot. I mean, I got the video too, but I don't want to have to re watch that. Nobody should have to watch that video. Okay. So I'll let you know when I got the motherboard out. Okay, so here it is, uh, out, and debris flying around, but uh, don't see any screws or anything that shouldn't be there. 
not there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, there's all the RAM slots. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my goggles and I'm going to just do a check over and see if anything looks like obviously burnt up or uh, malformed or anything like that. Um, I'll focus on the RAM uh, ports and um, a little bit about here on these surface mounts with the CPU and just uh, if I come across anything I'll, I'll let you know what I find. So um, nothing obvious on the motherboard or anything like that. We put it back together, tested it and we're going through and just shaking everything and uh, we found this piece here. Um, look at the dirt on it. So if there's a short circuit issue, uh, this is like a heat sink um, membrane. Uh, we're going to clean this up and see uh, if all those little chips, there's lots of, lots of fur in there. We'll see if we can clean that up and maybe that's our problem. So we're going to try this for just a second. Power's over here. Um, without the heat sink on it, just to see if that's it before we start going cleaning everything. Okay. Uh, give it a try. Nope. Okay, so put this heat sink back on. That's not it. And there's two more. We might have to get underneath those and see what's going on too. So. Okay. Only one of them is showing. Okay guys, uh, well, um, here's the final status of this. Um, still can't get it to work. Um, put it all back together. Uh, check the power supply on the oscilloscope over there. And uh, as far as I can tell, everything looks good no ripple. Uh, there was some cat hair in there. Um, still can't guarantee that it's uh, not doing something. Subsequently, we took it out into the garage and blew out everything underneath all the heat sinks that we couldn't get at. Uh, that didn't work. I took the whole motherboard out again, um, reseated the CPU uh, several times, exercised it, made sure all the pins on the CPU were straight, everything's good. Took apart the uh, took out the RAM and looked at uh, with uh, my super Das Lab optics here. Went through and looked through uh, all the uh, little ports and connections on the RAM. Didn't see anything wrong. Also went on the other side of the motherboard and I touched up all of the solder connections on uh, RAM slot number one. Uh, with the soldering iron, just touched it up in case I had a bad solder joint, and that didn't do it. I didn't do it for slot two, three, and four because I thought if it's an open, probably wouldn't be bad. But if there was, uh, you know, at least on slot one, if it wasn't reading anything, that would uh, help. Uh, went through, tightened everything, cleaned it all up. Uh, I think I told you I put isopropyl alcohol on the CPU chip, uh, remounted the heatsink, and we're at the same spot. Um, so there you go. It is a uh, AMD and what is it? A Gigabyte. Somewhere it tells you on here. Gigabyte GA-78LMT 
USB 3 um, with some sort of that doesn't look good. I'll grab that. Some sort of uh, I may go look that RAM because I was fooling around with that power supply. Some sort of a uh, BIOS in it. Uh, where that's from, not sure. Uh, wouldn't recommend using that. Anyhow, uh, we don't like to give up on Das Lab, but we do stop sometimes, and that's as far as I'm going with this. If for some reason somebody in the comments uh, helps me out, I will further comment or maybe make a subsequent video as to what the problem is. Other than that, um, we're looking at probably a new motherboard for uh, upgrading the guy's system so he can play his uh, flight simulator game. Uh, hopefully you had fun hanging out with me uh, while we went on this little adventure. Um, I'm sure I did a bunch of things wrong. It's really humid here today. I wasn't worried about anti-static uh, wrist straps. I do have one somewhere. Um, but you know, that would be also a concern. Other than that, that's all I got for you this time on Das Lab. Hopefully you had fun and enjoyed something. Um, always have fun, be safe, and don't get any on you. See you next time, and if you like what you see, still, you know, hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.